Hello, this is Virtual to Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Welcome to another episode of Chess Noob Game Review, where the focus is looking at how a game could have been improved. Now, in today's game, I played the Von Hennig Gambit against the Karo Khan. And the fun thing about the Von Hennig Gambit is it can lead to a line where you can get a very quick checkmate. Now in this game, my opponent fell for the trap, but at the last moment rescued themselves and played the appropriate response. And in this game, I wasn't entirely sure what to do next. Let's go take a look. All right, so I had the white pieces. So the Von Hennig Gambit is really quite magical, and I like to imagine a Baron Von Hennig, who is a magical cat with a top hat and bow tie, as per the opening graphic. The real Von Hennig, I think, was a German uh, Navy Admiral. So, e4, c6, the Karel Khan. So take the full center, as expected, d5, and now knight to c3, all very normal. Opponent captures, but rather than taking back immediately, we give up the pawn and uh, play the bishop, effectively trading a pawn for accelerated development. Typically, the opponent will try to defend that pawn, and now we play f3. Basically, that pawn pretty much has to, uh, has to, has to take, so they do. Now I develop the knight, and not uncommonly in this position, in fact it's the most single most common move, black now plays bishop to g4, ostensibly pinning the knight to the queen. And as you can see, that's a blunder. That is a bad blunder at about plus 2.68, plus 2.7. Now, the grown-up sensible line here is to immediately take that pawn, to, uh, to sacrifice that bishop. That looks like this. King is forced to capture. That's their only good move. Takes. Knight now jumps out with a check, so with a fork of the king and bishop. King pretty much has to move back. Now we, well now we take and chess continues. And we're at about, as I said, plus 2.7. We've got a lot of development and black has a damaged pawn structure on the king side. Very good for white. So that's the grown up, a sensible way of playing. Now, the fun and very spicy way of playing is to immediately move the knight, ostensibly counterattacking the bishop, but an oh no my queen sort of a, oh no my queen sort of situation. And basically the idea here is, is that if if black decides to take the queen, now we've got uh, bishop takes and it's mate because the knight now defends the only two square the king can go. So that is the famous trap. Now let's say in this position, uh, black sees, oh wait a minute, there's a trap there, and decides to move the bishop back to h uh, to h5, thinking that they're still providing a defense of that uh, of that pawn, still putting pressure on the queen, still defended uh, by the knight. Well, that's a mistake as well because we can just straight up capture that bishop. In fact, that's considered a uh, that's considered a uh, a brilliant move because if black decides to take the queen again the same thing occurs and it's checkmate uh, and if they finally see that now they realize that they can't take the queen I've got three pieces staring on f7 it looks really bad they may not even be able to find the best move which is that they have to move their queen somewhere to give the king a, a room to escape absolutely devastating I think it's somewhere around plus 10 here now, in this position, the single best move for black is what my opponent played in the game, which is bishop back to e7, uh, e, uh, e6, sorry, defending the pawn and also counterattacking the bishop. Now, I have previously analyzed this position and I knew that taking the bishop 
is the best move. And that's what I did. So takes, they have to take back. And in this position, it looks quite good because white is much better developed. Black has this doubled uh, E pawns, which look really awkward. Uh, you know, here I get to castle. Things are looking pretty good at about plus two. However, this was a game where I played a daily game, this was a tournament game, and I realised in this position it's not exactly clear what I should do next. So black does have some problems, and I, you know, there's got some development problems here, they've got some development problems here, uh, but I can't exactly, you know, their position is kind of okay, like there's no obvious way for me to attack. Now, my opponent uh, developed the other knight to put an extra defender on that knight, which was, I think, one of their best moves. And here I decided, well, look, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to develop my bishop. And the interesting thing here is that was a mistake. And that mistake brings us all the way back to zero, 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 pretty much back to equality. And the thing here is that uh, in this position, I actually need to do something about that knight. So if they take and I take back, this is not good for me. So my options here are either to bring the knight all the way back, or I have to give the knight a second defender with something like the bishop, or maybe something like the queen. So knight back, or the knight needs to have some extra defenders. It's a bit too soft in that position. I didn't see that, so I just played the bishop to that position. They capture, which was a very good move for them. Here I capture back, queens now look at each other. I thought that was potentially okay. It actually is kind of okay because it's zero, zero, zero. And luckily for me, my opponent now blunders. So that knight move is really bad. It's almost plus five. However, I blunder straight back with queen to this position. I was seeing, you know, there's a potential very, very powerful check here. Uh, and the problem here is that I could get punished. Luckily for me, my opponent didn't see what to do. They decided to push that pawn, which was another blunder, terrible blunder actually. And that now gives me the extra turn I need. This is now almost plus eight, check. King forced to move to this position, move the rook over, and here I think I basically caused emotional damage to black and they opted to resign. Good game, GG. My big takeaway from this game is that gambits are definitely a two-edged sword. They can be fun to play, but can lead to some weird positions which are difficult to play. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.